Taking a look at the software side of Next Pro Audio, the software is Soundware. You can easily download it on their website. You also install the USB drivers along with the software. You can then proceed to connect your cabinet via the supplied RS-485 to USB cable. I've connected the HFA-108 to my PC. You can then select search device ID and the software will show you all devices connected to the network. So we have COM port 6, device ID 1. You will then select COM port 6 as well as the device ID and simply click connect. You will then see a status at the bottom, connected. Broadcast mode is if you want to communicate to multiple cabinets connected in the network at the same time. Then we have set device ID. You can change the device ID of each cabinet from 1 to 255. You can also connect up to 255 cabinets in a daisy chain configuration to the network. Then all devices with the same device ID will all perform in the same manner. Then we have our presets. We have our six factory defined presets and our two user defined presets. So any changes that we do on the PEQ, we can then save to one of these two presets, the user defined preset six or seven. Remember, once you disconnect the software, the cabinet will automatically go back to the preset selected at the back of the unit. So what I like to do is I like to set all my cabinets on user defined preset six or seven. So once I've done all my changes and I say save, it automatically saves to the cabinet. And once I disconnect from the software, the presets are already loaded on the cabinet. Then we have save all presets to PC or load presets from PC. So if you want to load presets from Next Pro Audio or you have presets saved on your PC, you can then load all presets. Remember to load and save. You have to save. It doesn't save automatically. Then we have our delay. We have a high pass, low pass. Then we have our PEQ with six filters. Then we have our frequency. You can change the Q value, the gain and the type. You can also simply click on the number of the filter and you can do basically a sweeping function to change your PQ. Then we have a filter reset. We have a base enhance. Base enhance just to increase the low end on low SPL levels. Remember, once you increase the SPL levels, the base would start to distort on higher amplification. Then we have our signal where we can change our polarity. And then we have our volume adjustment as well as a mute function. So that's basically in a nutshell the software side of Next Pro Audio. I'm not going to go into too much details on all the PEQs and the high pass, low pass. I think we all understand exactly how they work.